Everyone's waiting on you, kid. Everyone's wondering what you'll do, kid. It's true, kid. Me too, kid. All right, week number four here at If Then. This is the, the vlog with James Snyder. Uh, hey, kid. Uh, we're actually hanging out at the in the pit right now because it's it's a Wednesday, but it's Western Wednesday right here. We got Randy with the. I don't know if we can see. I did, oh, hold on. There's, there's, yeah. <laughs> there's Camel. Time to tune up, everyone. What are we calling today? Oh, uh, West Wednesday. <laughs> like, it's Wild West Wednesday. So tuning up. Ooh, baby. Oh my gosh, it's going to be a wonderful week. Yay. Today's intermission is brought to you by Wild West Wednesdays here. The entire band is dressed up in their best, finest duds, a western style Howdy wear. Howdy partner. Ready to start the second act. Ain't it gonna be great? Here we are. I'm, I'm at Broadway.com and Adina is being interviewed right now. And they're talking about awards we won. I'm gonna have to act surprised now when they tell me about it. Oh well. Yay us. Everybody, it's a birthday! Happy birthday! What are you gonna do now? Oh, you're welcome, sweetheart. Have a good birthday show. Yay, there she goes. All right. Oh, yay, just for your birthday. I had, I had garlic for dinner also as a present. Just a big clove of garlic. And now, Water Cooler Wisdom with Randy Cohen. I can picture in my mind a world without war, a world without hate. And I can picture us attacking that world because they never expect it. Water Cooler Wisdom. Hey, what's up? We're all gonna sing happy birthday to Adina because I didn't get to sing it on stage at the end because otherwise we would have gone overtime and then we would have had to pay the musicians and the sound people. It costs a lot of money for happy birthdays. This one's free. Happy birthday to you. That's all I have to say. Happy birthday, Dina. <laughs> this is good. Yeah, okay. Although I could use if you need to, to get her or her dinner order right uh -huh. there, you get out the pan. Dinner oh, yeah, order? We're going to get it's all right. of that. No one takes my dinner order, uh, John Hickey. Okay, there's Look at this guy. Uh, sorry, all of a sudden, I'm learning what a dresser does, and now I'm getting really mad at Joe Hickey. Excuse me. You guys are like the MacGyvers of the theater. Yes. Do you need your camera, or will you film? Uh, okay, I'm going to take it from I have from a very Andrea bad right feeling about this. We have some clothes we have to preset. Oh, okay. As okay. you know, James. Yes, I, we, I, we, we have to check the rack, uh -huh. and we have things we have to preset. Okay, we're checking. I'm learning how to dress Adina today. Okay, what does the basket say? The basket says Adina. Yep. Okay. All right. So, here. Okay, what do we have? I'll take the basket and okay. take the clothes. Okay, I'm taking the clothes. This is me with the clothes. We're going to stage we're going left. to stage left. That is the left of the stage as you face the audience. Hi guys, okay, I have to be really quiet, but I'm about to do one of Adina's changes coming up right now, okay? So shh, this show is going on right now. So yeah, all right, so I'm gonna go do the change. Hey guys, hey guys, hey guys. Oh, so we can't show this part. Hand her socks. Sweater. Oh yeah, little massage. That's good. Thumbs up. Hand her that. 
that. Get the water. Thank you, James. Josh, we know we can you did an excellent job. I have to see that. You have to fix her hair, too. Yes, I am. Just put these in the picture. And now I've made another. You see? Fate is brought us together. See, I don't think it was fate so much as it was you. I am a superstar. Hey, everybody. Um, I just want to show everybody, there's a cool little, like, section right in between our theater that actually, it's really cool. It's like this walkway that, that doesn't, uh, you can kind of see it, like, it goes over there and then, like, the music box theater is over here. It's crazy. And so this is a, this is a nice little cool alleyway I like to hang out in and just, you know, think and warm up outside and... And relax. This is the uh, the music box over here, and then sometimes I wait. Hold hold on a sec. Is that what just? Wait a minute. Who is that? Is, what the is hell? that Ramin? What what brings you here? What are you doing? This, this is, is crazy. My theater. Wait, but this is my theater. Well, did we share this hall. I've never been in this alleyway. You've never been in this alleyway, really? Well, welcome to the alleyway that joins us together. Welcome to this alleyway that joins us together. That's amazing. That's crazy. What are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. Are you vlogging? I'm vlogging. Dude, you're straight vlogging like a champ, man. Our vlogs are colliding. Oh, holy cow. Let's do a vlogs cheer. Cheers. Yay, cheers to you. <laughs> well, this is this nice. Is awesome. Where's your door? Oh, here. My door's this way. You want to come take a tour of my door? Let's go see your door. Uh, something from my vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right, dude. You swear they're boring. They're amazing. Uh, this is this is now you went from your. Th this is my dressing room over here. This is ridiculous. So I'm in the. You are now in uh, the Richard Rogers Theater. How quick was that? I had That's no idea crazy. That we could do this. That's right. The special Tony edition of Hey Kid. <laughs> I'm standing here. In the pit, I'm about to conduct. The audience is coming in. I'm being very unprofessional right now. I'm gonna go warm up and get ready. Uh, hey guys, uh, how how do I how do I get down from here? How do I get how do I how do I get down from here, Marco? Can I? Come here, James. Okay, here I come. Come on, buddy. Okay, catch me, catch me, catch me. So special, Tony edition. Um, now, Diggs, why would you say today is special? Is it because Mario Cantone brought cookies? The most amazing chocolate chip macadamia cookies I've ever had. Top notch. Only a mobster named Tony Soprano could make them any better. <laughs> That's right. Special cookies from Mario Cantone, the the lovely partner to Jerry Dixon. Um, my favorite Just comedian added now. Just, Just added Mario on your blog. Yeah, you gotta edit. stop. That. Wait, gotta Mar edit. wait, <laughs> Mario. Mario's gay? I thought they just lived together like Bert and Ernie. Hi guys, uh, welcome to my special Tony edition. I have a, I have a few questions for you in regard in regards to the Tonys. You know, maybe some trivia. Okay, first question: How many Tonys do you know? My dad. That's one. Yep. Tony has been. That's two. I'm gonna go at least two. Anthony. 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 Oh, oh, could you imagine Let's calling him Tony? Tony. <laughs> Let's go Tony talk Rapp. to Anthony Rapp then. Let's go talk to Tony Rapp, right? <laughs> and we'll go rap with Tony Rapp. Huh? I am here on my special Tony edition with a Tony. Have you, has anyone ever called you Tony? My gym teacher in junior high. His gym teacher in junior high called him Tony. Mm -hmm. That's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I love that. I'm, I'm about to do a show in like 20 minutes and mm -hmm. I am still in a tuxedo. I might just do the whole show in my Tony tuxedo. This mm -hmm. is the very tuxedo that I wore to the 2008 Tony. So mm. Still on it. Ladies and gentlemen, 15 minutes of places for the top of the clock. I thought we had 20 minutes. I gotta go get a microphone on. <laughs> Tonys! As the special Tony edition of my show, I have a few questions, guys. Oh, what? First of all, who is this lovely llama? Well, this is Juan Valdez. Juan Valdez? This is Juan Valdez. And who is that? 
even and she's a girl. Oh. Don't get a twist. And that's Stuvenson. And Stuvenson? Yeah, boy. And I don't have one. And you know. He's gender. Okay, okay. This is this is a viewer question. <laughs> this is a a, 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 a Twitter question. Uh -huh. What's the best thing about being on stage with James Snyder <laughs> almost every day and night? Oh. Is that? Um, I'm gonna win the Tony. And kissing him was okay. I thought he'd be a better kisser, but he's not like, kidding. <laughs> oh, that is not true. You know I mean? That is not true. Yeah. I am a mediocre kisser. <laughs> I at give him best. a I like him. I will he take lets you. me pluck the hairs out of his ears. Can oh I talk my about god, that? no, you cannot. Oh my god, it's gonna get deleted out. <laughs> <laughs> the appeal is just going down the drain. Let me show oh, him the shoes me. too. Just well, and no. Then it'll be no, I am in I am in the finest of the fine duds and oh god no no Sometimes no no right no. Oh, what are those? Hey Janet Krupen. What up? Um if you could be uh one uh, the lead of one musical anywhere in the entire world that's ever been written, what would it be? Uh Funny Girl. Funny Girl. Never heard of it. <laughs> if you could trade places with any rock star in the entire world, what band would you front and or play in? Oh, um, those doesn't count. I would say, I would say the James Snyder band. Whoa! Oh, yeah! Oh, this man knows how to win over. We are keeping that. Okay. Uh, Jason Tam right here. Yes. Hi. What is your favorite part about sharing a dressing room with Jerry Dixon? I mean, behold, the South Park that is in front of you. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Hey, Jerry have any annoying habits? Jerry, do you... I have one annoying habit. Okay. What is it? I don't even know what it is. <laughs> Does Jason Tam do anything that drives you crazy, nope. Jerry Dixon? Oh, I no. probably do. I think I go like this. Ah! I do that a lot. You really don't. Okay, good. Not as much as James Snyder did uh, we went back in Washington, <laughs> yes, D.C. Yes, we did. We Jason, used to share a dressing room. Jason Tam, and we shared a bathroom. Yeah. A bathroom? Yes. Oh, yes, not a dressing room. It we was shared all, a bathroom. Ah, but I could hear, ah, annoying. I My warm up is warm up. Ah, it's just annoying. Oh, which I gotta warm up right now, guys. <laughs> Hiding from my intro is the lovely, the beautiful, and the talented Idina Menzel. Hi! Ta da! <laughs> Where did you come from? Hey, it's right here. Oh, it's this lovely. It's my dressing room. Okay, so this is the Tony you look edition. So nice. Thank you very much. Oh, I the appreciate Tony it. Edition. But I'm in sweats. Oh, hey, kid. I apologize for that. I have just literally been stalking her. I've been stalking her pretty much all week, being like, "Hey, so the web episode or whatever." And well, he didn't just like, stalk me. He dressed me. I dressed. I dressed her. Is what I did. Um, <laughs> which was awesome. You're such a good sport. You look so handsome. Thank I you feel very, very much. underdressed for this interview. As I that is pull all up right. My you know what? This is this is just. It's bare. Bearing your soul, okay, and we're just I'm working here. It's just low soul. key. It's you know. I don't worry. I I wore my shorts today. Okay. So so okay. we're we're okay. It's not all. This is movie magic, is what okay. we call this people. Okay. Uh, first question. Yeah. Mm. Who is a better kisser? <clears throat> all right. James, Make sure you're in the frame. Oh, you sorry. Right? Yeah, I'm right here. I'm right here. Uh, James Snyder in rehearsal. James Snyder in DC or James Snyder on Broadway. Who's a better kisser? <laughs> Oh, uh, James Snyder in rehearsal. Awesome. That's great. You don't want to hear why, or you just want the answer? <laughs> I don't want to know why. Why? Why? Go, go, go on. Because James Snyder was, he was more tender and intimidated because he, he looked up to me then. Now oh, he, yeah. I was scared to death. Now he's I was scared just to death. like, you know. I would flush at the drop of a hat. No, I'm still, I'm yeah, still like. That's all right. All right, next question. Still, next question. All right, I'm still scared and intimidated. Okay. <laughs> what is your favorite moment in If Then Musical of mine? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Um, uh, no, that's good. That's a great. Let's what do is, it. What, okay, what's, what's your favorite My moment favorite of mine? moment of you? Mm-hmm. Uh, when you sing, uh, when you sing, um, you, uh, you never know to me. Oh, yeah. I like it. I feel like it's like the one chance that I get to, it's the first chance I get to really connect and be like, boom. Yeah, and I, feel and like I it's get like, to settle and just listen to you yeah, and I, be I, like, you know, romanced by you. Why? Well, and I feel like sweet. it's a really personal, like I get to sort of talk from me to you yeah. too in a lot of ways. I don't know if you felt oh. that today. Really? I was thinking about a lot of stuff, yeah. Okay, so you good. have to say that on the... I'm yeah. not gonna... What? I was just thinking... No, not on dirty things. I was just like, oh, you know, like, it's like it's a big time for you right now oh, and all that kind of sweet. stuff. And it's like, you know, and like, no matter what, like, there are people who just love you because you're you. Thanks, James. Yeah. Uh, if I meet any, I'll let you know. Okay. <laughs> it's... 
No. Okay. Okay. Uh, hold, no, you can't oh, sorry, my sorry, questions. Sorry, sorry. Um, can't what is your favorite go-to karaoke song? My favorite go-to karaoke song is um, uh, um, the Tina Turner. Um, I like it rough. I like it. Um, so what is it again? It's uh, I don't know. I can't think of the title right now. Uh, right to get down in the city. Yeah, to put on the night day, the proud Mary keep proud on Mary. burning. Yeah, okay, that's mine. Yeah. Burning. But I don't do it. I don't. I don't really ever uh-huh. do karaoke. Mm-hmm. I figure let the people that can't right? sing have. I know. I do. No, I go. I do go <laughs> karaoke in L.A. Yeah. And my buddy Jonathan is like, it's not really hey, right. just literally, just everyone just keeps handing me the but mic. Why? And by it's the, the end of the day, I'm just people like, people that don't get to know. I know, and people get like, and I'm like, yeah. I have a buddy who moved to Austin and was like, it's great because like. Everyone's really nice, but when I go to a karaoke bar, like I'm not with like people who are like actors who sing all the time, and yeah, I was like, oh, that's, good. that's a really good thing. I know. Yeah. Okay. This is a, a uh, this is a um, a Twitter question from at Beccaroni17. Who, by the way, I was not going to include this, but she she insulted my thing because. <laughs> my webisodes have only, or my uh, vlogs have only been eight minutes long. Okay. And Ramin's are like eighteen minutes long. Now, They're like, allowed to be that long. I guess I we're was competing like, with Ramin. No, we're not competing at all. It's fantastic. He's okay. wonderful. In fact, I was just on his vlog this week. You were? Uh huh. He came up. It's weird when you say vlog. Is right. It feels like you're putting like a v- like it's an accent for vlog. Like hello, vlog. I am I, here yeah. for the vlog. <laughs> Yeah. Vla, that's what it feels like. da. Okay. Um, so yeah, but she was like, "What's so up?" So eights are too short. Yeah, she told me to work harder, and I was like, "In LA, if he I he works did... really hard at coming up with these and making them very I do, and sophisticated, I, and concise. None of this stuff, like in LA, it's a lot if of I hard pitched, if it. I pitched a webisode where the web episodes were longer than three minutes, I would yeah, get laughed out of the room. Yeah, nobody has enough patience. Yes. But theater Except people... Except theater people, yes. they have the patience. Well, James and I can sit and talk about ourselves for the next three yes. hours, really. <laughs> yes, Let's, I'll, I'll be here next Who week. Who needs we'll editing? Uh, what is the... So, from Beccaroni17, uh-huh. what is the weirdest, most embarrassing part of your warm-up routine? Mine? Mm-hmm. Oh, uh... Everything about it. <laughs> it's, in the uh, shower. Yeah, it's always in the shower. I have a shower cap on. I'm naked. I sit <laughs> on a baby <laughs> chair. Should I go get it? Oh, get it. Oh, no. Just a moment. Just a moment. She will be grabbing the baby chair. <laughs> Today's vlog brought to you by Ken. Yes. Oh, which can I have this came the rest from of those? a kitty table that can we I had in DC. So yes. I sit on it and I shave my legs and sing. And sing at the same time, just la 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 la. That's amazing, amazing. You know what's funny? Part of my warm-up routine also involves shaving my legs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, okay. Uh, for, at from uh, from at v hope ninety four. It's what's, another v hope. What's the best thing about being with James Snyder on stage almost every day slash night? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm speechless. Jesus. There was surprisingly a large amount of stuff about twerking from the fans. Really? I.e., can you twerk? Would you twerk Me? for us? Yeah, no, you, I please can't. don't. No, Goodness, no, no, no. no I, can't. I would not. I can't you, twerk. You are a James. It's his smile. It's his goofiness. He's he is the epitome. Epitome is it the right yeah, word it's for okay. handsome and awkward? Oh. Is epitome right though? The epitome of something? Yeah. 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 I think so. Okay. Oh, you know what it is? I always confuse epitome and infamy. Infamy yes. is bad. Epitome is like. Well, yeah, yeah. Is epitome a negative connotation? Not at all. No, okay. no, no. He is. He is the perfect example of. Okay. Yes. The quintessential. There you go. Okay, I know. I'm just his Nobody mom's an English teacher, so I always get a little awkward. insecure when I. Yeah. When my I fans have been called in Snyder's. You have fanzels. Apparently, I have in Snyder's. In Snyder's. Like insiders, but in Snyder's. Oh, that's Do you cute. Like it? Do you like it? It's a little snotty sounding, like mm-hmm. in Snyder. Mm-hmm. Like no, like. Or just like well, in, in Snyder. Snyder. So, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. No, no, no. Um, that's good. Insiders are cool. I asked a lot you of deserve to have insiders. It was all I really meant to do was do a bit where I just asked a bunch of questions about me, and then you were gonna get mad about uh, you me get asking mad? a lot. No, it's okay. I don't. I, don't okay. Want you. I never want you. <laughs> uh. If you could be in another musical, oh, from I Swaggy Nerd, if you would like to, yeah, he's awesome, he's awesome. Uh, if you could be in another musical, what would it be? Not with just any musical ever. I would be with you. It would be Carousel, right? And you'd really? Be, yeah, but I mean, I, you know, I'd go into my old like soprano from uh, high school. Nobody let's do knows that. I'd do that. 
She can do that. No, she can I, do anything. I can't I'm not really. kidding. Um, but if I could mm -hmm. get it back, yeah. I would. Right. Julie Jordan. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Wait, what's the song? If I Loved You? Oh, yeah. I don't want to sing it. I don't even want people. I don't want people to hear it because they're going to want to start casting me as a soprano. Yeah, screw that. That's yes. too much work. <laughs> Trust me. I think it's harder so to try be a being belter. a tenor. Try to be a yeah. yeah. Don't no, know. I don't like singing high. Yeah. It's always like, why can't I drink tonight? Exactly. Oh, because I just sing really high. You have young kids watching this. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to say what I was drinking. Right. Orange juice. Milk, dairy is bad dairy. to eat. Horror. Really bad to drink dairy when you you're a singer. You lose your your high notes. Yeah. Um, How'd we do? We did great. Are you excited about um, the, up, the, the the impending Tony niche? Sure, yeah, yeah. I'm always excited to be there, part mm -hmm. of it. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to watch you. I uh, I'd like it if my more of my my cast and my uh, creative team was there. I will just say that. Yeah. Whatever the case, we're all very proud of you. Thank you. And we all love you very much. Thanks. Hey. All right, so um, this is a goodbye. Everybody. I think we should end the, the this will be the last segment of the vlog. What do you think? Of the vlog. Of the vlog. Yes. The. Okay. Okay. All right. So those vidanya. So Sunday. And we'll see you guys on Sunday. Those <laughs> <laughs> vidanya to the vlog. 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 And uh, I said see. <laughs> <laughs> this good. Your your Russian Spanish is fantastic. Da. I love it. Da. See. Da. Okay. I mean see. Prash me I don't know. I, I have no idea what I just said. <laughs> You right. speak Polish, though. I do. I speak a little bit of Polish. Nie mówi po polsku. I don't speak Polish. See? Well. I can, like, count to ten. That's about it. You know, he's lying. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Well, um, goodbye, guys. And it's been another wonderful week here at Hey Kid. Oh, we you're were... looking in there. I'm looking at the that. The whole time right looking there. at the wrong place. I know. I just kept looking here, but it's all right. It's close. All right. So um, we will see you guys uh, see next you week. Sunday. A Sunday, right? yes, at the on CBS, the Tonys. Uh, also, Broadway.com. I'm sure we'll have a lot of wonderful coverage. Sure. So, so we'll plug them. Yeah. And uh, so this is James Snyder and the lovely Adina Menzel signing off on Hey Kid. Bye. And we'll see you guys later. <laughs> Everyone's waiting on you, kid. Everyone's wondering what you'll do, kid. It's true, kid. Me.